Friends, greetings. Good to see you. I'd like to share with you uh, this morning uh, a verse from uh, Matthew's Gospel, Matthew chapter 5, verse 14. Jesus says to those listening uh, in the Sermon on the Mount, You are the light of the world. A city on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good deeds and praise your Father in heaven. Those are traditionally the verses that uh, a sermon or a, an address finishes with during the uh, Book of Common Prayer services. They're wonderful verses to send us out as uh, lights of Christ, shining his light into the world through our words and through our deeds. There will be many, and I am amazed at how many are serving in so many and various ways across our communities, both from within the church and without. And it's uh, wonderful that we are able to do that in these new and unimagined ways just a few weeks ago. There is another opportunity emerging uh, in our community where we will have opportunities to shine the light of Christ. Many of you will know the residences at Cannons Grove have been empty for some time. I understand that those are about to be uh, reused, uh, brought back into use uh, for the homeless uh, across Taunton for a shelter for them. The county count, the council and uh, various charities including ARC, Open Door, the YMCA are getting together and hope to have uh, homeless in those uh, flats and residences as soon as this weekend. There will be opportunities wonderfully for us to be involved. I'm waiting to hear from the council about how we can as a church be involved both with uh, donations of food and cleaning products but maybe also through practically getting involved as well. There may be some of us that have time on our hands that we're able to do and serve those uh, who will be uh, living in those uh, flats and in that accommodation. Please look out for details that I'll post on the website that will be able to be uh, contact points for us to be able to get involved as a church. Here's our prayer for today. If you've been uh, using the prayers uh, for uh, coronavirus for the situation, uh, then I've been posting daily prayers. Here's our prayer for today, which fits wonderfully with that theme of shining the light of Christ. Heavenly Father, thank you for the wonderful response of so many volunteers in our community and nationally who want to help. Thank you for the police and armed forces, for those working in logistics and food supply, farmers and supermarket staff, for those who collect our bins, drive buses and all those who work hard to serve our country. And particularly today, Lord, we thank you for those who are seeking to bring the Cannons Grove residences back into use, for those who have no homes at our present time, for those who are the poorest and most vulnerable in our society, struggling at this time. We pray, Lord, that you would prosper those works and that we would be able to join with them in sharing your light in word and deed. Help us as a church to shine like stars in the universe as we hold out the work, word of life and as we show Christ's love in practical ways. Please enable us to help where we can and please may help get to where it is most needed. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And Paul finishes his letter, uh, one of his chapters to the Corinthians. And God is able to make all grace abound to you so that in all things, at all times, having all that you need, you will abound in every good work. Amen. Praise God. Have a great day. Thank you.